Hello and welcome to this Thrones of Britannia video. My name is Maddis and today we're going to be looking at the top five changes made to battle. We've so far talked a lot about the changes you can expect to see in the grand campaign for Thrones of Britannia. Today it's all about battle. Here are our top five changes that you can look forward to trying out on the battlefield. Number one, shield based warfare. It is the era of the shield wall. It is the tactic which Alfred beat the great Viking army at the Battle of Eddington and remained predominant across the battlefields of the era. To reflect this style of warfare, we've reduced the distance between soldiers in many units, with dense blocks of tightly packed soldiers. We've also reduced infantry charge distances, as the short, sharp clashing of swords and shields makes combat feel faithful to this intimately intense combat style. To complement this, all units with shields now have a charge reflect attribute, which means that if they are stationary and braced when charged by cavalry, the horses will refuse the charge. You'll see them rear up before slowly advancing into close quarters combat, negating any bonus from the impact. Of course this means you have to be very choosy about where you point your cavalry, either at unshielded targets or manoeuvring them into positions where they can play hammer to your shield wall's anvil. Number two. Cavalry Combat Cavalry versus Cavalry is a different ballgame. We've actually increased the cavalry spacing for Thrones of Britannia, which promotes a more realistic cavalry combat, as horses pass through gaps in the opposing unit and cycle round to clash again. Number 3. Critical Hits Thrones will introduce a new critical hit chance for battle that reproduces the arrow in the eye effect. Now, impacts from both melee and missile attacks have a chance of dealing a critical blow delivering 10 times their normal damage. This means you'll see the occasional soldier buckle to the ground when charged or under a hail of arrows, as he's dispatched by a particularly vicious blow. Number 4. Unit Modes Guard Mode makes a welcome return for Thrones, and maintains the functionality that makes it ideal for holding ground and not pursuing routers. As a small quality of life improvement, we're also adding the optional default settings for various unit states. So now you can define guard mode, skirmish mode, always run and group locking as on or off by default. We've also created 16 new major settlement maps and designed them to be more free flowing for larger troop maneuvers. Streets are broader and wide open spaces within the cities enable you to command a greater number of units together rather than focusing on single unit, close quarters street fighting. We've also added an even greater settlement variety through our new minor settlement maps, of which there's a whole host. All of Thrones of Britannia's settlements have been designed to allow the attacker multiple points of entry, and for the defender, multiple ways of repelling the enemy. Thrones of Britannia will be coming out on May 3rd. You can pre-order now and get 10% off at selected retailers.